Hey guys, Kyle from thefanride.com here with another toy review. So we have another Transformers Combiner Wars figure. This time it is Ironhide. So as always, here is the instruction booklet. See it says Combiner Wars Ironhide. Shows how to transform him into all his modes. There is the comic, the IDW, the Hasbro exclusive cover with Ironhide on there very very nice and then here is the back of the packaging there's the bio go ahead pause if you want to read now there you go you got a product shot 10 steps he is in a uh, a very nice red truck and then there is the rest of the wave Alright guys, so here he is, and before we get to him, here is his hand foot gun, very nice looking, uh, definitely has more of an engine block, of course you just flip that out, and there it is as a hand with the gun, then he comes with this awesome axe gun thing, so, uh, on mine, I started customizing it. The whole thing comes in this uh, standard gray plastic game, but I want it to look a lot nicer, so I started actually adding some silver paint to it. Um, and again, when you buy your figures, you can do whatever the heck you want with them. I like making mine uh, cool, if possible, and I figured some silver paint would make this axe look a lot nicer. Uh, still needs about another coat, I'd say, before it looks nice. You can still see streaks. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's a... Uh axe. It's, I guess you could use it as like a gun too. We'll get to that. And then it kind of is like an engine piece as well. Then here is Ironhide. We'll zoom in on the face if we can, if it'll focus. There we go. Has a very stern look to him. Uh, again, very nice G1 reminiscent head. He was always one of the, the older guys. I'm like, in my day, we would slay Decepticons, or yeah, so, uh, <laughs> but yeah, very nice, you got some detail, some, again, that dark, uh, metallic blue that's been, uh, on some of the other, uh, wave mates he has, he has some silver there, there is his Autobot, uh, symbol right above his crotch, I don't know why, it's kind of weird, um, you got some silver here, the, uh, suspension or spring or some of that, I don't know. I, I don't know terms to vehicles, but that's, you know, from his vehicle there. Um, of course, he has this huge backpack, um, which I'll get to that in just a second. So, uh, before we get to any issues, let's go over the uh, possibility here. So, head is on a ball joint. Uh, you get, you know, a little bit of pivot. Doesn't look down that far, doesn't look up that far, turn. Um, arm uh, is on a ball joint here, so you can go that far down. Um, then there is a bicep swivel and a joint there in the elbow. Nothing in the uh, wrist or hands. You got a waist swivel, another ball joint in the hip. Uh, upper thigh swivel and then a 90 degree bend at the knee and then nothing in the feet since they are uh, blocky in the back end of the truck. So uh, some of the issues I was talking about here is one, uh, you got this huge backpack um, that's the front of the truck and that just looks really weird and gets in the way. And then another thing is these panels, which are the doors to the truck, uh, on his shoulders here, they really get in the way of getting some poses out of them. Um, they always just keep catching and clipping and they're just really annoying. I wish there was something they could have done to uh, uh, fix that. I don't know what, but I, it just, it's really annoying and I don't really care for it. So, uh, from here we'll go ahead and get him into his uh, limb mode. Uh, so, we will go ahead, flip the head, we'll just turn the head around, then the combiner, or actually, my bad, we'll keep it that way, flip 
that around. That way, then, his uh, you can't see his face at all. We'll combine the legs, turn them that way. Then, as you can see right here... Okay, so sorry about that, guys. So, after you get the legs together, go ahead, twist those around to make sure they stay together. Again, uh, when the head is like this, leave the face around, twist that around, and then what you're going to do with the arms, which is weird, but this is what the instruction says, take them, have them go down straight, and then just fold both of them back all the way, and of course the combiner port you actually want that way if he's in a arm. Make sure everything is together. Then take that, go ahead, plug it in, and there he is in his uh, arm mode. Uh, definitely kind of weird. I, I don't prefer him as a arm. Um, I actually prefer him as a leg, which I'll go and show you right now. So go ahead, take that off. Make sure the port is all the way at the top. Then we're going to, uh, first you're going to unhook the feet there. You're going to collapse these guys. So as you can see from, from like this, you just take it off. And then it just, there's a double hinge. Now what you want to do is actually swivel these around. And then you want to get these kind of hooked and lined up and then you just fold these back together make sure everything again is just you gotta fidget with it a bit you just gotta line everything up make sure it is all connected put the arms straight down and then right here this part be very careful because I feel if you put too much stress on here um, you are gonna break the joint so what you want to do is kinda take it with both fingers the best you can it's really hard sometimes I do this and then using using the the force of this on top and then your thumb down here you just unhook it so it goes down because this joint is uh, very tight and then you just Clip that to the side, so do the same thing over here. Make sure everything is all lined up. Make sure that this guy, uh, it does have a weird little hinge here, or hook, so it just kind of connects there. And then you just take the hand, turn it into a foot and bam there he is in his foot mode uh i this is the preferred uh limb that i have him in um have this mold in um it just it it feels better as a foot um than as a leg um it's just how i like it so from here to turn him into his vehicle mode of course take that off then you're going to flip this all the way back around in which you're gonna have to kind of unpeg the robot legs then just go ahead and flip the head around and then you're gonna unfold that all the way and just kind of clip it so it's all together and there you go he is now in his vehicle mode rolls really nicely again got some silver on the hubcaps there's a combiner port the more of the the dark metallic blue, yellow, there's his Autobot symbol, there's the front, no real paint, just gray. Again, goes around the other side there. So what you can do is, the uh, this guy actually has a couple different ways you can clip on here. So, as you can see, he has, I don't know what you want to call this part, but this right here sticks up. Right here, there is a notch, and those, actually, if you just go under clip it and then just go ahead and put that down or I think yeah it's just going down like that so that looks like a uh, engine block on the back there and then you can go ahead take his axe weapon 
and you can just, I like putting it on that side there so it looks like a gun. And there he is, all, all weaponed up, ready to go. Um, yeah, I, I like how this is more incorporated in the vehicle mode, unlike some of the other uh, figures where it's just kind of placed there to be there. This actually looks like it would be like a souped-up engine, um, and then this adds more of a uh, engine feel, I guess, to it, even though it is a big old axe, um, which I realize I didn't show him wielding, but... You, you get it, it's a weapon. It He holds it, he swings it. Um, but yeah, it, you know, otherwise it's it's a cool figure. Um, uh, I'm glad they're, they're getting some of the more classic uh, G1 characters uh, back into the series. Um, and yeah, so if you liked my review, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can check us out at thefanride.com. And uh, please be on the lookout for another toy review. Thanks guys, catch you later.